the offensive of Ukraine on Svatovo and Kremenia chronicle of the battles of October 2-3. After the fall of Lehman and the loss of the left bank of the Zarebets River, Russian troops retreated to Kremenia, it is there that new defensive orders and lines are now being built, on which Russia is trying to contain the offensive. Ukrainian formations continue to transfer reinforcements to Lehman, Torsky, and Terny, regrouping advancing formations. The village of Terny has become a springboard for attacks by Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance groups on the Svatovo Kremenai Road. There is no actual communication between settlements. The front line north of Kremenai is unstable, due to the cut communication and lack of communications. There are reports of the occupation of Makhevka and the advance of Ukraine towards Regorodka. The Ukrainian units advancing from Kapiansk do not stand still. Ukraine is putting pressure on Russia's positions on the heights in the Erlyanka Kislovka section. In the Tavolzonsky sector, the Ukrainian military is building up a grouping in the vicinity of Gryanikovka and Masyatovka for a second attempt to attack the positions of Russia. Footage from the field shows the withdrawal of the Russian armed forces from Borovaya, Podlyman, and Shyakovka. This may be a consequence of the decision to concentrate on the defense of Svatovo. Most likely, Russia will continue its planned retreat from the lines on the Askol River to the prepared positions around Svatovo, trying to inflict unacceptable losses on the overwhelming enemy forces with artillery fire. In this case, the entire left bank of the Askol River will come under the confident control of Ukraine in the coming days. In view of the absence of a natural water barrier, it will be more difficult for Russia to keep a section of the front in the Svatovo-Kremenia section, but it is still possible.